Peace, love, and light, Scorpios. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are and you're living in your greatest purpose. Let's get into your messages. Okay. Let's see what is showing up for you, Scorpios. Let's see what spirit wants for you to know. What do you want Scorpios to know at this time, spirit? Okay. Um, the first thing I'm hearing about this emperor is that spirit wants you to know that you are a boss. You are your own boss. And there may be different reasons why spirit is wanting you to know that you are your own boss. Um, I'm seeing that, you know, some of you, the divine is trying to remind you that you are the one that is meant to take charge of your life of your situation of your circumstances of your energy um something that's very specific about the emperor that many people may not know about the emperor is represented as a masculine it may not necessarily be a masculine um the divine is saying that this is a representation of your energy and in the emperor energy you are one who is stable and spirit is wanting you to know that you have an energy of stability that's surrounding you and uh, an energy of calm um, this means that you're able to draw those energies at will towards you um, typically the the emperor is considered to be a father figure a nurturer someone um, who's able to provide, protect, all of those qualities that are represented by the, the masculine energies. And the divine is reminding you that you are the protector and the provider of your own energy in your own space. That any and everything that you do contributes to your healing. It contributes to um, your progress. Um, I'm also seeing that the divine is saying many of you are wanting to move forward. You're looking ahead, wanting to move forward. Um, you have something in mind that you're looking to, to progress on. Um, you're looking for an energy that will allow you to progress regarding something. And you may also be sitting and waiting for news regarding something that you've been hoping for as well. And this, um, this emperor right here is seated and, and seems to be in a very contemplative sort of mood, sort of energy. Uh, this emperor knows exactly what he's looking for, what um, to manifest. I'm also hearing that the divine is wanting you to be mindful that as the emperor, you have the ability to heal yourself as well. Okay. Um, because the emperor is n not only represented here as one person. What you may not see is that they are the king of swords, the king of wands, the king of pentacles and... Last and certainly not least is the King of Cups. Okay, so having that part within him that is the King of Cups, this is someone that's able to heal their past and leap into the future. And I'm hearing the divine saying that many of you may need to be reminded of this, of the importance of healing your past to move forward into the future. Now, be mindful that as the emperor, you are still in this protective energy, okay? Um, and healing your past is, is, is got, it may make you think that um, that is a cause to let your guard down and just, you know, not be the emperor, which is, you know, a protective energy. And the divine is saying that couldn't be far from the truth, is as you're healing you're still in a very protective energy so there are things that you get to do to protect your space and your energy and for many of you the divine is saying you may not be ready to move forward and leap quite yet 
because you are still literally you know cleansing the wounds of the past and that's you know that is part of the healing process so you are an emperor that is connecting your past to your future you are cleansing the past to proceed into the future and there are a lot of things that you get to know because you know once you're ready to leap forward you know and for many of you so once you're ready to leap forward you're going to do that and for many of you what that leap forward means is that you're literally going to be coming out of an isolated space okay you're going to go from contemplating to actually actualizing what you will and you notice that the six of wands is coming in a fire energy so this is creative energy this is also very similar to the emperor um fire energy uh masculine energy creative energy and it's also protective energy so there's going to be a moment where you're going to feel like taking that leap okay um once the divine has indicated that you're ready to move forward uh that you've cleansed some of those wounds of the past and you know it's time for you to move forward and that is going to happen okay so let's see what other things are going to be involved regarding this emperor's energy um you know to to do a lot of this cleansing okay part of what you get to do is to listen to spirit is what i'm hearing uh be in tune with that part of you um that's got a lot of creative power that's able to create at will okay tell me about this emperor what do we need to know about the emperor well that's interesting <laughs> uh, it's been happening a lot a lot lately um scorpios so this is actually significant as well like scorpios let me just tell you a little bit about what just happened here like literally this deck was just like sifted through cleaned you know shuffled and for whatever reason this particular card it hid in there because there's a very significant message that's coming out specifically for you regarding your energy right now you see this eight of pentacles has actually showed itself multiple times today and this eight of pentacles is an indication of manifesting every single thing that you have ever ever thought of ever created ever spoke into existence so what this is reminding you is that although you haven't seen it it's time for you to speak it because you know eventually there's going to be a, a point in time where the light is going to be lit on you the light is going to be literally on you okay where the divine is saying it's time for me to look at scorpio's you know rolodex it's time for me to look at scorpio's requests um there is going to be that time and that time is coming up very soon and everything that you've ever asked for the divine is going to be weighted and judged and then the divine is going to decide what it is that that's going to happen to those requests and what's essentially going to happen is that you know the things that you manifest are going to be a result of your intentions and what you spoke into existence okay so many of you may be in a position where you may not even realize or be in tune to this energy of being this boss this emperor um this master manifester and oftentimes when we when we say manifesting you know we are quick to think about you know monetary gains finances okay this means that even the seemingly minute things that you want that you desire are are coming into your your energy okay and when we began this reading we asked spirit what is it that that you need to know at this time and the divine is wanting you to know that you are a boss 
you are a master manifester that you may be in a position where you are inside looking out at this time and the divine is saying now this is the time for you to you know bring out that list okay and and do the work necessary in order for you to get the outcome that you desire now keep in mind the eight of pentacles you know comes after the seven of pentacles the seven of pentacles is someone you know putting in the work you know keeping up the routine um being persistent even when they may not see the desired outcome right away they keep pushing they keep pushing because they understand that there's something behind whatever it is that they don't see that's coming towards them and this is this is essentially what ends up happening after that seven of pentacles after all of that work um you get to manifest what you need what you want and you get to shine the light on all of those things that you have worked hard towards so the divine is reminding you you know keep pushing through keep moving forward because the outcome is 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 right at hand it's 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 right there okay all right and you're going to be able to literally give your back to the past you know at some point many of you may not know when you may not know when you know these energies that for some of you they're really weighing heavily on you you may not know when these energies are going you're going to surpass them and the divine is saying keep pushing through because that is soon coming okay that's something that you are going to to see in the very near future okay okay Scorpio. so the divine is saying keep pushing through keep reaching forward keep reaching towards the sky um <gasps> For the sake of this sounding kind of like a motivational type of thing, it, it it almost, well, yeah, it might actually be that, you know. And perhaps this is the energy, this is what the divine needs for you to hear at this time. Um, to keep the momentum up, to keep going, okay? Because some of you may be experiencing moments of um, where you're needing the energy necessary to move forward and the divine says i got you okay i got you uh what you need what you desire is coming forward it's coming through see speaking of the king of cups so really this is confirmation that many of you are looking to heal you're looking to heal physically or you're looking to heal mentally you're looking to be given to at this time it's like i'm really getting this energy that many of you who have invested in others are looking to be invested in you are going to be invested in you're going to find you know your spirit guides are finding the right type of people that will invest in you as you invest in them and again, this is an energy of healing. Yeah, many of you, it's like it's almost like you you need you need that momentum to move forward. The divine says, keep going. Um, hmm. Okay, so this right here is very significant. This eight of pentacles. This is you manifesting. Um, anything else you want to tell us about the emperor spirit? Mm, yeah it's it's your time it's your time to move forward it's your time to shine um there's a lot of people actually watching you at this time and and they're getting inspired by you there's a lot of folks going through you know moments of alienation and isolation that need the energy and need what it is that you have to offer and so this is you know more of a motivation for you to keep going and keep healing from this okay because there's something good to come out of this as we speak it's a lot of energy of pentacles showing up for you here scorps a lot 
this is this is a lot of abundance showing up tell me about the six of wands the six of wands okay um this is you having clarity hmm. this is you seated in your truth in your knowing okay the divine is saying that is your power your knowing is your power your connection to you know the unknown you know a lot of things that a lot of folks don't know scorps okay so what you know to be true you know it's, it's sometimes it's like that motivation is like pulling a rabbit out of a hat and right now the, the divine is like it's like it's it's wanting you the divine is wanting you to pull your knowing out of a hat pull what you know okay that's your source okay pull from from your source you have like a reserve and right now it's time for you to like push through okay it's time for push to push through oh look at that y'all should really see where this landed <laughs> uh, this is this is amazing Scorps. okay i'm gonna get this like literally this is where it ended it flew and it landed right on the top so you're going to the top your your beginnings are looking quite bright you are manifesting these things releasing yourself from bondage and that's what the divine wants you to know okay i'm gonna just pull uh one oracle card from here see what additional things the divine wants you to know about this message okay what do you want us to know mm. and immediately yeah i'm seeing from this the divine is saying trust the process this energy is is telling you to trust the process there's that number eight showing up again the divine is saying trust the process and trust your intuition. Okay, so, oh, look at that. Speaking of healing, look who shows up. The goddess I set is revered as a magical healer and sorceress. She of 10,000 names, you may know her as Isis, her Greek name, Oset, Aset, and Wuset. Iset was worshipped in ancient Nubia, Egypt, and beyond. Let it all go. Say aloud, I surrender. These words cast a spell. Breathe them in. Release control. Stop bonding around struggle. Hand the keys to the divine. Allow spirit to carry you and fill in the gaps. You don't need to figure it all out. Goddess has your back. Have faith in where you are at this, at this moment. Everything I need to know finds me at the perfect time. So much came out of that, Scorps. Um, first, there's the healing part. The second is how your words are like powerful. They're potent in moving forward. Okay, They're a major part of your transition. They're a major part of your transformation. <laughs> I'm hearing the divine says that many may not know that like... The secret to your transformation is your words, okay? So speak the right things. You are literally creating what you will. This is what the divine calls casting a spell. Like the minute that someone says, I put a spell on you, literally those very words are the ones that do the work. There's nothing else that needs to be done okay this is your spirituality this is your gift this is the power that you have you have this ability to speak things into existence and change your situation at will this is a major part of your transformational process and it may actually be a secret to some and it's not really the words that you speak are is the very thing that's the instrument that you need literally your words i'm hearing your words are your wands 
you hold the magician's wand and this is what you get to use in order to change your situation at will okay keep moving scorp all right we could do this okay this is the word of the divine if this message resonates please like comment share and subscribe until next time love peace and divine light